Welcome to Turbo the Tech Nerd. I am indeed Turbo the Tech Nerd. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to live, st live stream directly to YouTube using your ATEM Mini Pro. I'm gonna show you every setting, follow along. It's a step-by-step -step instruction, so you'll need to watch the entire video so you don't get lost and mix things up. And I'm even gonna show you how to edit your description before you live stream. And now, it's time to get turbocharged. Okay, so let's head on over to YouTube, which you can see right here. So we're in the your YouTube channel. What you wanna do is make sure you're in your YouTube channel by going switch account or going to your channel, just like this, which I was already on that page. Now up here where you normally add a video, you're going to select go live. Don't worry, it's not gonna take you live yet. So that just takes a couple of seconds to load. All right, so we're all loaded. So the first thing you wanna do is make sure your title, your description, and all of those good things are ready for when you get it uploaded or when you're ready to stream. So you hit the YouTube algorithm properly. Don't forget to use your TubeBuddy and keyword descriptions and keyword explorers and all of those good things. So you have the highest potential for reaching the best audience that will watch the longest. And that's how YouTube does it. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna edit our title and you can just click anywhere in here and go ahead and edit that out. Now I'm just gonna leave this the same cause I already know that this is going to be um, partially the name of the actual video that I'm creating here for you to watch. And then in your description box, this is an old description I had from when I did a big long two day live stream. Um, and it worked out pretty good. I got a bunch of subscribers for that. I will be doing more live near in the future, but for now, let's stick to what we're doing. So edit your description, make sure you're using keywords that make sense. Make sure that you're using multiples of keywords that you used in your tags. And most of all, make sure that your title also appears in your description and any links that you have to possibly sell anything, guide them to your website or any other things that you have that will entice people to engage with you more. So that's simply said, and then you can customize. So you can make it a live chat, your live chat replay. Anyone can send you messages or only your subscribers. Now I leave this open to anyone because I mean, if anybody's watching it on a live, they're gonna be people that are just possibly randomly dropping in. So let's not mess with that too much. The How long do you want participants to wait between sending messages? This is more for you to be able to keep up with how quickly the messages are coming in. So if you watch a video, a live video by say a guy like Nick Nimmin, who's phenomenal by the way, and you should be watching his channel, then what's gonna happen is he has so many people watching that literally the chat just keeps scrolling and scrolling and scrolling. So you can set this to a slower mode so that you can actually have a chance to stay caught up with where you're at. All right, so then you're gonna, next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna click save. In my case, I'm clicking cancel because I already have the information in there. All right, so now we have all of that done. The next thing we're gonna do is this area right here where it says stream key, RTMP comma variable, we're gonna paste this in our encoder. And that's essentially what an ATEM is, whether it's an ATEM Mini Pro, ATEM Mini Pro Extreme, ATEM Mini, ATEM Mini Pro ISO, ATEM ISO, ISO Extreme, and so on and so forth. This works with all of the ATEMs that are able to go live to air. Okay, so all I'm gonna do is I'm going to click the copy button. There, it's now been copied to my uh, clipboard. Now I'm gonna minimize this window out of the way or not. Now I'm gonna minimize this window out of the way and I'm gonna go over here and this is the switcher software, which if you have an A10 mini, you're probably already very, very familiar with. The next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna head on over here to output. 
Now this is where it brings up your live stream information. I'm gonna show you how to do Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, Restream, and Vimeo after, but this one's focused on YouTube. So we've selected YouTube and the server you want is always the primary server where possible. You're gonna hit paste in here and you're gonna paste your uh, stream key. So you're done. That's all you needed to actually do. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna click the on air button right here. And you see it says that we are now on air. So when we go back to our page, now we are seeing exactly what it's seeing. So I'm just gonna switch cameras here so that you can see now that it uh, can switch over back and forth. So let me go here. And you can see that everything is switching where I want it to be. And there it is. So that is the live stream. So if you're catching this on the live stream and you just happen to be watching this, this is a continuation of the video that will be uploaded momentarily for how to live stream to YouTube. And I'm going to do a few more videos on this, like the how to live stream to Vimeo, uh, Twitter, Twitch, and any of the other ones that are included in the ATEM software to give you a direct on air button. So you can also click the on air button in the top right hand corner of your ATEM switcher, and that should get you there. So that's all you really need to know. Thanks for watching. I'm Turbo the Tech Nerd. Turbo out. <laughs>